What's good, family? What's good, family? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Let me holler at y'all with my picks for week five. At first, in London, we got my boys, my New York football giants, are in London. We always represent when we go to London. But we have some offensive problems. <clears throat> Andrew Thomas is the highest rated tackle in the league. He's looking good. Evan Neal had a bounce back game last week against Chicago. Um, we had Saquon looking like Saquon. Had a monster game. Problem is, we have real issues at receiver. Receivers are not getting separation, not making plays. Daniel Jones is health. Um, <clears throat> now we get plays a play a Green Bay team, who's defensively look like they're getting their stuff together. Offensively, the, the receivers are making more plays at week to week. And you play against Aaron Rodgers. Never a happy day playing against Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> On a neutral field, it's a Green Bay home game. Green Bay's giving eight. I got to be honest. I like Green Bay. We have Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh on the roll against Buffalo. Kenny Pickett is starting. His first career starting in the NFL. Looked good playing in relief, but now you are starting. And I think it's going to be an issue with that with that Buffalo front going against that Pittsburgh O-line. Buffalo secondaries has issues. They got five starters missing. But then Pittsburgh defensively is just not gonna, on the road. This is not the Pittsburgh defense from the beginning of last year that won against Buffalo in Buffalo. This is not the same defense. You're not going to be able to get that kind of pressure on Josh Allen. Josh Allen, this is going to be one of those knockout games. This is going to be one of those games that knock out games that, that um, Buffalo does where they put a 40 ball on you. They're given 14 for a reason. Buffalo. Now we've got the Chargers on the road at Cleveland. The problem is Cleveland's defense this year is not as – the individual players are better than individually than what they look collectively. You have a good corner in Denzel Ward, a good safety. You have talent on the front line. And uh, Miles Garrett is supposed to be back this week, but um, collectively they just have not looked good defensively. They have not, and <clears throat> they have not looked good defensively. And now you have the Chargers coming to town. Chargers could put up points. Cleveland is not going to be able to put up points like that all the time. Um, but Cleveland, one thing Cleveland does well is run the football. They'll keep this game interesting. Chargers are giving two and a half. I like the Bolts. We have Chicago on the road against Minnesota. I like Minnesota because Chicago simply just can't score enough points. Only reason why I was close last week because you played another team that doesn't score much points, my Giants. Guess what? Minnesota can't score points. They can. They can very easily. Uh, that kid Jefferson is going to – I expect a big game out of him. Kirk Cousins, I like Minnesota. Now we have Detroit on the road against New England. New England starting the third string quarterback. He played well last week, but this time he's going to be starting, not coming off the bench in relief. Lions, the one thing they do, they can run the football and they score a ton of points. I don't think New England offensively can keep up with them, even though they run the football well. It'll be, it'll be interesting early, but the Lions do score a ton of points. I like Detroit. We have Seattle on the road against New Orleans. New Orleans is giving five and a half. You know what? I'm going to put some respect on Geno Smith's name. I'm going to put their two and two, a surprising two and two. I'm going to put some respect on their name. Even though they're on the road, they're going to keep this interesting. If they don't win, they'll at least cover that five and a half. I like Seattle. Next, we have Miami with Teddy Bridgewater. With Teddy Bridgewater giving three and a half against the Jets, I like the Jets. I do. I do. I, I like the young quarterback. I like what he did last week in Pittsburgh. I think he's going to build on that against the Dolphins. I like the Jets. We have Atlanta on the road at Tampa. Now, Tom Brady has never, ever lost to the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> yeah, we know his most famous one against the Falcons. But now he's at home. Once again, we know how offensively challenged they are, and they're giving nine points. 
Atlanta's another team I'm going to put some respect on. They're 2-2. Two and two. They're busting spreads left and right. Orchard Court has a great defense, but they're not stopping the run the way they used to. And Dominican Sue is sorely missed. He is. He is sorely missed. And Atlanta has a – because Mariota is such a mobile quarterback, they have some, a lot of creativity with their run game. Cordell Patterson's out, but they have still have a lot of creativity with the run game. I like Atlanta to at very least cover that spread. We have Tennessee on the road. We have Tennessee on the road. On the road against Washington. Washington Commanders are bad. They're just bad. This is not a good football team. Tennessee is getting getting their things offensively rolling. I'm saying that controlling the line of scrimmage, being able to run the fo- football with King Henry, I don't see that stopping this week. I like Tennessee. Then we have Houston on the road against Jacksonville. Now, I like they played to a – now, Houston's been playing very well. Jacksonville, you know I'm saying, got a bit of a wake-up call last week. They could have – should have won that game against Philly, but they did not because they kept turning the ball over. I think the turnovers will still happen. And they're giving seven points to Houston. Houston's busting spreads left and right. I like Houston to cover that spread. We got San Fran on the road against Carolina. Uh, I have zero faith in Baker Mayfield. Jimmy Garoppolo, this much faith in him, but he looks so good in that offense with all that talent around him. I like San Fran. We have the Cowboys on the road in L.A. playing the champs. I like the Cowboys. Yeah, I know I'm saying that. I like the Cowboys. Here's why. Rams right now defensively look like a completely disarray. They're not defending the run well. Not defending the run well. Cowboys are running the football well. Um, I think, you know, Aaron Donald versus Zach Martin, that's worth the price of admission. And right now, offensively, the Rams, too much just Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup, and they're turning the ball over too much. Bottom line, I like Dallas in a close game. We have Philly on the road against Arizona. Um, Philly's giving five. Philly, to me, is the best team in football right now. Does not mean they cannot lose. Arizona's giving five. I like Philly at the very least to cover that five, if not win the game. No, Philly's giving five. I'm sorry. I like Arizona to at least cover the five. I like Arizona to at least cover the five. Why? I think it'll be close, and I think Kyler Murray just has some magic in him. Say what you want about the dude. I think he just has magic in him. And I think that's what's going to be needed to beat Philly because Philly is so damn loaded. Then we have Cincinnati on the road against Baltimore. I like Cincinnati because they can just chuck it up. They can throw the ball all over the place in Baltimore. That secondary, you got all those guys back. They can't cover nobody still. Last year was the excuse everyone was hurt. Guess what? Those guys are healthy now, and they still can't cover nobody. In the offensive line, they need time to gel. They're getting slowly better every single week. It's not like Baltimore does so much, does so much, has great pass rushers. Yes, they blitz a lot, but Cincinnati embarrassed Baltimore twice last year. I don't see that changing. If anything, it'll go back and forth because you got Lamar Jackson playing so well, but I like Cincinnati to win that game. Then on Monday night, we have the Raiders on the road in KC. Now, KC put on a clinic last week just to let everybody know who the fuck they really are. Just to let everybody know, Raiders got a much-needed win. As great as this division is, I think there's going to be some beating up on each other. KC is giving seven. That's why I like the Raiders. There's going to be beating up on each other. And, yes, Patrick Mahomes owns the Raiders. He does. Only the, the Raiders have some success in them when they're able to pound the football. Last couple of games, you see KC defensively stopping the run. If KC defensively could just stop the run, just stop the run, just stop the run. Why? Because then the defense can get off the field. And Patrick Mahomes can do what Patrick Mahomes do. The Raiders, they're always able to run the football against them. Josh Jacobs has got off to a good start, particularly these last couple of games. I like the Raiders. Good as this division is, they're going to be beating up on each other. No one's going to just ascend the top over everybody. I like the Raiders. 
This is your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Those are my picks. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.